We got whirlpooled. We yep. got whirlpooled. I'm sure nothing bad will come of that. Um. Where we last left off, you had been whirlpooled and you had been taken to a place where the ocean was flat as though a mirror and it's nine out and there are stars in the sky that are perfectly reflected off of the mirror-like surface of the ocean. Do we remember what time it was out previously before we got sucked into the whirlpool? I don't remember. Well, I don't well, remember I'm out of character because nice it's been. I don't remember out of okay, character either. Okay, thank you. Because um, you were. Do I... You had just stolen a bunch of. Uh, you had just olive oil. Pasta, and you had just stolen a bunch of olive oil. And sold olive oil in exchange for a sword and um, some relationship enhancement things between Wish Knife and Jane. Right. I forgot about that. Um, okay, so the stars are reflected. Did, uh, I Do guess I recognize the stars? A, that was what Give I was going to ask you to do. Or a profession sailor check. I think I will. You can take 10 on that. Then I will take 10 on this, uh, which gives me a result of plus 10 to 20. I. Uh, So, when you're looking up at the sky, you don't really recognize the stars. But, give me a perception. Perception. Ooh, I am not good at that. You notice anyway. When you're looking back down at the ocean, you do. I do recognize the stars looking at the ocean? Yes. So that would be a reflection. So like the sky is like, com oh, you s you were serious when you meant perfectly mirrored. Are we in the sky? I don't know. This is beyond my pirate's mind. Magic is stupid. Oh yeah, magic is stupid. Got me there. <laughs> Well, okay, so that's bizarre. Do we see anything else? I mean, I guess if the ocean is flat like a mirror, we should be able to see a lot. Well, I guess it is also night. As far How far as can, can we see? see like, it with all the reflected to light. The horizon. Oh, wow. In the we don't see anything until the horizon. Of the ocean. You do not see anything, and you were fairly close to the coast. You could see it when you got uh, taken in by the whirlpool. Huh. Funky. Did we level up? I believe so. We're level seven. Because I'm missing a feed, yeah. apparently. Okay. I guess I didn't choose one yet. Oh, yeah, I remember. I didn't know what to pick, so I just picked improved initiative. Oh. <laughs> improved initiative's a good one. Yeah, that's, that's not a bad feat. I took fast. weapon versatility because skeletals. Yeah. 
Oh, and good. being able to deal damage to things. Oh, Iron Will, that's that's the real smart play, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna control Rhea as much as she can control. The bad news See, is, the rest of us are still gonna fail our saves. I already have improved initiative That's fine. and Iron Will. So. As long as it's not Rhea. Oh. No, I guess I don't have Iron Will. Uh, I just have really high will saves. Yeah. You just have a bonkers will save, especially if it's against, like, mind affecting things. I don't know. Improved Iron Will is like my new favorite feat, so it's like I just have to have it on it. Yeah, because I get up. What's improved Iron Will do? do? I it don't know that one. It lets so you re-roll. So if you roll and you think it sucks, you can roll again. And yeah, it's a once a day ability. Once per day. Yeah, once once per day. That seems pretty basically. good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like luck rolls where it's like, yeah, let me try again. Okay, uh, so, what's up, where are we at? We're on a boat in a strange land. You're in, on a boat on a strange land, uh... Not sure what to do about that. Can I get a, um, bardic knowledge check out of Rhea? Oh, like, what kind? Like, do, do you wanna... Specific one. Do they have different modifiers or just a generic? Uh, if I put ranks into knowledges, then I get bonuses for those. Right. Yeah. That's the thing. Bards are still better. This will be knowledge that they have ranks in. Do you have that? Yeah. So let me see. Yeah, that's not a terrible number. I'm guessing that neither. Uh, Zahid or Jane have knowledge planes. There's my answer <laughs> to that. <laughs> Tarasa knows a little bit more than me. Dang it. Dang it. I just rolled well, yeah. I have a single rank in knowledge planes. I got a B on the test, and you got like a B plus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, you guys think you're not on the same plane. What and, does that even uh, mean? Okay. Not exactly sure. Obviously, we can't see are. the pyramids. No idea. Um, I think... but you think it might be, like, an intermediary or, like, transitional space. Like, uh... Like What's purgatory? It? Not purgatory, but like, uh, sort of like purgatory, but like, oh, uh, uh, limbo. Interplane, yeah, limbo zone limbo. between uh, material planes. Okay. Wrong boot on. All right, here we go. So I've tried to like. Import my character sheet from Hero Lab over here, so it's too lazy to go ahead and change all the values. Even supposing we aren't on our world anymore, which sounds preposterous and impossible, but then again, the dead rising and me reliving the dying to the undead time and time and time again also is ridiculous and impossible. How would we get back? Uh, I don't know. Let's find another whirlpool. Yeah, maybe I begin sailing maybe around looking for whirlpool. whirlpools. Wait, wait, actually, quick question. What happens? Can I touch the water? I mean, the boat might uh, be too high if up. If you'd like to climb down uh, on, like, yeah, I can lower you down in a rope. life raft. Yeah, I, 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 have I don't rope. need to be in a raft. Just a rope is fine. I've got rope. It's just, like, so weirdly still. I wonder what happens if you touch it. If you summon uh, a Kraken, I'm gonna be pissed. I'll, uh, I'll watch. Like, can I go back in? If you recognize the other side, if I go swimming, do I just pop out where we need to be? Uh, well, let's find out. You. We're gonna tie the rope to you. 
And me and Connell will watch. You go find <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, I'm watching. I don't want to do this. Non-magic type solutions to magic problems. I'll tie a rope to you, Jane. What <laughs> Here is we go. science? So we got a rope tied. Let's go. All right, let's go swimming. I have the other end of the rope, but I also tie it to the mast just in case. Oh, there it is. It's like, where the hell did I put that freaking XML converter knife I found? So, Jane gets lowered down from the boat, and, uh, you touch the water? Yeah, I'm gonna touch the water. I'm gonna poke it with my finger first. You, you poke it with your finger, and it's actually, like, it's not hot, but it's like, it's warmer than normal ocean water, like, it's lukewarm. Oh, huh. giant bathtub. Man. Well, I, I have an idea, <laughs> and I'm, bathtub. and forgive me if I, so the stars are mirrored, right? So if I just follow, if I try and navigate the inverse, I'm going to try and continue sailing towards South Africa, or at least mirror South Africa. Okay. Would you like to go swimming in the uh, giant bathtub water, as the PCs have called it? I mean, not if we're sailing. <laughs> I have to be on the boat. They could throw mm. you behind the boat. That's get, like, one of those like a, as soon, that sounds like somehow I'm going to end up keelhauled. What if we had a life ring and we just sort of dragged you behind, like you know, what, like you're tubing down a lazy river? That honestly sounds really fun out of character. <laughs> um. The big issue with sailing towards South Africa is it seems to be deadly still with regards to the wind. No. Oh. Well, oh, so I guess someone's gonna have to go out and push. <laughs> push with what footing? They're gonna kick. It'll be like a giant kickboard. That sounds very difficult. Yeah, I don't have the strength for it. Mass. You're already down there. You wanna try? Oh uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me let me roll a strength check real quick. No, hey, my strength's we can't only do that. 13. We can't do strength checks. We've done this before, it didn't work. Yeah, yeah, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> I should have rolled a Malthia. Why did I roll a dex based character? Alright, I'll do it just for just for uh humor's sake. Actually that's like a really good roll. <laughs> but so what a waste. You start accelerating the boat. It's going about a foot per round. That's significantly better than I would have expected. Good job, Jane. Alright, I'm tired. <laughs> Somebody yeah, you get like a couple me. feet and then you're tired. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work long term. It's also night. <laughs> I'm already tired. Oh, jeez. It's not like I I'm cuddled. This... Wait, does cuddle sleep? <laughs> mm, probably not. Uh... No, not really. Does Connell have a strength score? Not a good strength score, but he's got one. Yeah, but isn't infinite really weak force? Isn't that just how people get through space in the first place? Why not giant interdimensional oceans? <laughs> There's water resistance here. Damn you, friction. Why can't this be like a physics class where like there's no friction? I got C's in physics, so I don't know. Was that the basic physics where they don't, where they just ignore friction? As no, well? for some ungodly reason, I got placed into honors physics because I did really well in chemistry. Hmm. 
I did not do really well in physics. Uh, yes, equivalent subjects. Yeah, it's always funny. I remember I had a... I can't remember. There was somebody who was like asking a question that ended up being more of like a like a chemistry kind of question to a physics professor that I had once, and he was like, "There's a reason that physics that physics professors are not chemistry professors <laughs> or something like that." <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it works the other way around too, though. All right, let's see. I gotta update Connell's sheet as well. Uh, yep, I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. We could try going under the water. Uh, why don't we all sail right, this right. boat uh, I'm already down here. Hold on, I'm already down here. Let's we can't, go that's the problem, there's the no shot. wind. We can't, we can't uh, sail the boat anywhere, we have no wind. Except by pushing it. Yeah, we should have stole go a galley with like um, the rose or whatever. Right, okay. That's what we should have done. Um, That's a lot yeah, of manpower that we don't have. Weather, huh? okay, uh... No, nobody has control weather. I it's can accurate. yell at things. Isn't that like a sub? <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of Rhea just there, yelling. Yeah, no yeah. magical <laughs> effect. It's just like, <laughs> I can yell and it's like, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe something will show well, up. Keep... I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try wait for the What happens if I dive? The of the boat? What happens if I dive? If you dive into the water? Yeah. Uh, Still tied with a rope? You I you guess. dive into the water. Oh, okay, I didn't nice. like hit a mysterious bottom and die there. And then get reset. No, no. <laughs> you go until the well, end of the rope, and there's still that more been hilarious, deeps though. to go. I mean, well, I definitely can't see anything because even though it's well lit right now, it's still you know night. We should try just resting till morning. It could. We could end up just starving to death in in here, and then you know, right? We just avoid but this it, next but, time. It's okay, the morning, he yeah, dude, yeah, he's not here. Yeah, he just... Yeah, he just... I don't want to starve to death. Steer Somebody better next time. Somebody just killed me instead. <laughs> Go ahead. Jacob, let's uh, let's uh, kill till the morning. What, Create food and water. water. How about you guys oh, stop okay. rolling hundreds on random encounter tables? All right. Hey! So we'll just hang <laughs> out 99. here. It was 99. You're welcome. We'll just hang out here until, uh, until it, the loop naturally resets in that case. Oh, we die of boredom. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, we don't even know. We might be in like a place where like the time doesn't actually pass or something like that. You know, so it's like uh, we actually we just got a non-standard yeah. game over. Well, the other the other hey, you is... get points for those. that. Would be like so <sighs> messed up if it actually was like a non-standard game over. And Mantis just didn't tell us. Like we're just sitting here, like <laughs> what do we do? And he's like, you healer, I can't do anything. It's another. Tell us that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on, I fucking do that to you guys. I don't <laughs> know. This is just really. <laughs> I don't know. This would be hilarious. Be <laughs> you go, right, you're just. That, was, that um, would be like the worst version of Rock's Fall Everybody Dies, except like you keep coming back and you're like, what do we do? No, this is like the ending <laughs> of Neverwinter Nights one. Yeah. God. <laughs> okay. Now, you know what? I'm gonna say it. All the Infinity Engine two, games rather. have not aged as well as they should have. Mask of the Traitor is still fucking great. Still good. I'll fight. I you love on that. Baldur's Gate too, or rather, I love Jim Cummings, who happens to be in Baldur's Gate too. <laughs> Mask of the Traitor is like the best game ever in uh, terms of its story. Jacob anyways, is not useful for anything besides create food. And drink. Oh, but he can do the green food and water. Uh, speaking of which, yeah, he does this the rest feel of the like day. ocean water? Or oh, good water? question. I don't know. Uh, Are you going to take it? Well, it's salty. I, no, no, no. I, but you can feel the difference. Like, like when you're like in the, like, like, you've been in the ocean water. for... Yeah. It feels like fresh water. It doesn't feel like bogged down. Does it feel gross? Even though it's clear? No. Actually, All right, guys. It's... it's a little bit brackish. Um, Even though it's so clear, that's crazy. The Chesapeake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
uh, if you were to taste it, I could tell you what it tastes like. I, I It's a little brackish. If I like try and scoop it up in my hand, does it seem dirty, or does it seem like it's kind of brackish from something, like, does it just look... It doesn't seem dirty, it seems clear. Okay, I, I'll lick it, I guess. You know, chemistry strats, like we were talking Ew. about earlier. <laughs> It tastes like tears. Ew. Ew. That is ew. So it is salty. How do you know what those taste like? You've never tasted your own tears? I have. I can't what think of it. I honestly think I have more memories tasting my own blood. Oh shit, I just realized- That's, that's grosser. I have to go somewhere. You bleed in your right mouth far more often like if you floss aggressively. Minutes. Oh. Oh no. Did you hear that? Uh oh. Okay. I did not. Okay, I forgot I was supposed to go pick something up. I gotta oh. go. It'll be like twenty minutes or less. It just depends on traffic. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So I'm here. It streams up, and uh, I okay. scream at things. There's really not a whole lot I think I can do in this situation. Well, that's that's fine because what the situation really calls for isn't magic, but science. All right, uh, so I'll be yes. right back. Well, we've already tried the chemistry strat. What's what's the biology strat, and then the physics? Geology doesn't seem like it plays in here. We don't have any rocks. Um. Yeah, I, I have no idea. You do have uh, some books that are maybe relevant. Are they written in a language I know? Yeah. Uh, that's that's the issue. Yeah, but doesn't um. I mean, I know, like, Jacob can cast Comprehend Languages. I have a lot like of languages. I don't know. You could, if you have the linguistic you skill, you might Egyptian? be able to... Uh... <laughs> no. You just leveled up. Would you like to put a point in Ancient Egyptian? I no, I took have... Spanish! Well, what is... Ancient Egyptian, yeah, is decidedly different from... What I could do. I speak modern Egyptian. I don't know. There's it, depending on like I know that at some point in my backstory I was doing something with um what's it called archaeology. So maybe I do know ancient Egyptian. You did make sense enough to like point. a significant amount of time, just uh, like months. Oh, I never increased my skills with some books. I also forgot to increase my skills. Oh, okay. So let me. Are you going go to put a point in linguistics? That. Yeah. I mean, let's be real, Mantis. When have I ever not played? Like, I always always play characters completely obsessed with linguistics. Source, you play uh, a character so who is good. literally a polyglot in my game. Hey, man, he's a linguistics professor. <laughs> All right, I uh, let's add ancient Egyptian to the list. I've increased linguistics. Okay. okay, so I have more skills to play with too. I'll figure that out later. I'll put them in swim. They're all going in swim. That seems They're sensible. They're all going in swim? Okay. I mean, otherwise I have Suddenly craft maxed. food. I, no, it's not maxed. Um, but I've got craft food. And, oh no! You don't have that many skill ranks anyway? or uh, I only have one in swim currently. <laughs> That's why. Um, I didn't increase... 
Let's see. Well, oh, no, I only have one spare skill rank. That's why. Well, you also have your background so. skills, too. Keep in mind. No, I included that. Uh, Granted, for some reason, have... swim isn't a background skill. What? Yeah, it's... I don't think it is. Um, no, but I, I put my background... I put my background skills in other stuff. So... Uh, yeah, let's add Ancient Egyptian to the list, and I'll start reading, I guess. Okay. Well, I can't promise all of this knowledge is uh, completely pertinent to where you are right now. You will get some backstory on things that you... Uh, encountered in the past. Oh, okay. I mean, all information is good out of character. In character, I'm probably a little frustrated because I don't understand magic in the first place. So, uh, you pick up one of uh, the three noted books. Uh, one of them is you can still not read, and one of them is mostly in pictographs, like actual pictures. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna call Zahid over. Tell him, oh look, it's a picture book. You can read that one. Hey, 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 man! I speak the second most languages of the party after you. But I will read the picture book. <laughs> <laughs> the, the picture book. The picture book you already used to do the ritual across the Nile River. Oh, right. Um, so, uh, you pick up this book titled Immortality. A Spiritual and Surgical Manual, Creation Rituals for Liches, Mummies, and Vampires. Huh. Well, guys, I know how we could not get out of this. Ever. We could just make this go on forever, yeah. Good plan. <laughs> But on the other hand, if we were immortal, we could survive the undead apocalypse. Yeah, being undead is Depending not going to work for me. You got your... If, look, man, you just got to overcome your fear. Self-acceptance. I'm not going to accept it if you can't beat him, join him as our plan for the undead apocalypse. <laughs> It is noted that uh, mummies are the recommended uh, source for immortality, as they have the least risk of failure. It is mm. also noted in here that some pharaohs have chosen to mummify their spirits, or have their spirit vessel into a different body than their original selves. Huh. That's, uh, bizarre. But on the other hand, that doesn't tell me anything about this. It does get, it does answer some previous questions. But uh it also notes that uh there's legend that the first vampire was also the first 
pharaoh of Egypt and had been enshrined and immortified as a deity. That sounds like that guy who killed us. Right? We went into a, f a tomb, and there was this, there was the that's, uh, you know, that's, guy yeah, there. So who would be enshrined there other than the guy? So you're saying that was Seth Peripson? I don't know. And maybe. It's also I, hey, I, I, know, I don't think I know that in character, but I know out of character the first pharaoh of a unified Egypt is Seth Peripson, who's in the inspiration of the god Set. Oh, I thought you said Seth, and I was like, wow, that's no, it, a it, normal it, name. It is Seth. Oh. <laughs> Maybe our cultist doesn't have such a normal name after all. <laughs> okay, well, that gives us information about that guy. And holy crap, Terry, that almost could have hurt me a lot. Please give me some warning. <laughs> um, so we got a fair amount of information about that previous guy. It's also noted that, uh, yes, uh, upon further reading, it is noted that uh, this deity is set and that they have rumored control over time. Oh, so that's how, well, that could be related to what we're doing, number one. But number two, it's like, I guess that kind of answers the immortality question somewhat, right? Or how they were disappearing and reappearing, like grappling you. Oh, right, that too. I just assumed he was fast, and I, I, like he was superhuman, and yeah, magic. that was, I, I don't think I got to see that. I think he just walked up and straight up stabbed me. Uh, I think that uh, Zahid, uh, did not. We did not uh, detail Zahid's experience. We did not. Yeah, th yeah, that's right. We did not detail Zahid's experience. He just kind of got hand waved to death. I Which just kind of what happened. It's women. just the hand had a knife in it. And I, I'm allergic to knives. Ooh, that's too rough. I'm not. See, I use them in combat. Uh, another thing Jane can maybe do is uh, okay. consult with your best friend and dearest companion. Oh, no, I fully intend to next. Now that I've read the books, what I'm going to do is, since I have no idea what's going on, be like, hey, Wishnai, if you want to stab the water for me, Sure thing, boss. Alright, I don't know what it's going to do first off, but if it's this weird mirror thing, then maybe it's all magical and we can cut it. Ready, team? Sure. Ready. Sounds like a better right. plan than... I'm assuming that this was like a day later or something, right? Yeah, I wanted to wait till the day so I could actually see things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, assuming it ever is day, does does it turn into day later eventually? Do we like sleep? No. You so sleep. it's still dark? It's still dark. Stars okay. are still out. Different stars are out. Are they moving? Like, are the stars moving in, in the sky? Mm -hmm. Is that what's going on? Okay. Alright. Let's, uh... Stab the water. <laughs> Did 
Do, do I need to roll a hit or anything? Knife into the water. Oh, okay. And ripples come out from the water. Well, I said a wish knife. Uh, that was surprisingly normal. However, the ripples, instead of just fading away, start to intensify. Oh, oh, oh. So he pulled me up. <laughs> I begin pulling up. Jane is pulled back onto the boat. As another whirlpool starts forming. Under Good job, wish knife. Uh, I don't know if this was good or bad. <laughs> No, well, I don't think it matters. It's happening. Right. We need to do something, because just sitting around here wasn't going to get us anywhere. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back, we stabbed the water. Wow, and a progress! Oh, oh, okay. Uh, and a hey, no, it worked! No, actually, <laughs> <laughs> progress, it, it worked! I was like one thing all this time. That's that's what you came up with. Stabbing. Hey, we no, we, we, also, we we also read some books. We workshopped some ideas. Right. But of all knives surveyed, Wish Knife thought stabbing the ocean was the best plan. Well, I mean, that's, charging battery. That's Wish Knife's only plan, right? Ever. But I mean, it worked no, this he's... time. It worked. Yeah, it worked. Did did this whirlpool take us back? I don't know yet. It just we happened. don't it just know started. it worked. Yeah, we don't know it worked to them. <laughs> it, something it happened. Something it changed. <laughs> it changed the status quo. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You first. Oh, that we gotta true. take the whole boat, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I got back up on the boat, so let's, I guess, wait and see what happens? <sighs> so. The ship gets taken in by this whirlpool. Oh, boy. And it's rough. Uh, everybody Was it rough the first time? Strength checks or profession sailor checks? I'm gonna go with profession sailor oh, here, even though no. I'm strong. <laughs> if you have a strength penalty, you should probably go for profession sailor. Uh, yep. Even though Can I don't have strength in it. Yup. I don't know. Profession checks untrained. I feel that that was a five. At least normally you can. I don't know. Mantis, may I roll Profession Sailor? Do you have a uh, range? Yes. You don't? No, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> you may. Alright, I'm gonna that, do that because why my strength. I gave the option. Nice! Four! <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, hey, look, if it was a strength check, it would have Hey, it's better one, than so... a one, which is what the result would have been if you had rolled <laughs> your strength check, right? Yeah. I'll be right back. <sighs> but I'll still have hearing, so... Okay, so... Uh, Zaheen, Trasa, and Connell managed to secure themselves by holding on to something on the boat, but Rhea and Jane do not, and they get thrashed and bumped around, and, like, they, like, sort of fly off the boat and, like, land back on it a couple of times. They're gonna take some damage here. Mm. Mm, not damage is damage. You're going to take, uh, ten bludgeoning damages. That's a... And, uh, okay. 
your your boat suddenly emerges onto a very stormy sea. Well, uh, I believe at this point I should be probably making another proficient sailor check because not sinking seems optimal. <laughs> yes. Please do so. I would like us to not sink. I don't want to sink. There is a uh, not sinking a roll. roll. You get everybody to do all of the right things to have you not sink and to have all of your masts intact. Oh, we, we, we get in there. And you weather out this storm over the course of the next couple of hours, but your hands are full, like making sure everybody is doing all of the right things. To keep the ship uh, in top shape. Yeah, I imagine and it's a labor-intensive thing. Yes. Whoa. But the storm passes, and you see, you see land, and you see the sun rising from silhouetting the land in on the horizon. We're going to make it. You're going to make it? Okay. I'm I think so. Optimistic. Probably. So, where do we steer the boat? On well, let's let's. I'm gonna want to want to see if I can find anywhere I can temporarily anchor us by land, just so I can inspect, make sure we didn't take any, you know, damage that I couldn't check from on the ship. Okay. So you're sailing toward the land. The coast. That's the plan. Okay. So you sail towards the coast, and. uh you see uh, smoke coming out of a nearby, uh, what's it called? Like Town? Town, but uh, where, like Cove? Or, yeah, Cove. We'll go with Cove. Um... Do I have any sort of navigational points I can use referencing my charts to figure out where we are? Uh, so you're looking over your charts, and uh, you're, you're not exactly sure. Your charts are pretty useful when the sun's not up. <laughs> yeah, I might just have to hang out yeah. until the evening to get reoriented. That seems like a good idea. Or you could so I go ask took ten the damage. The town. Yeah. Yeah, you took ten damage. Uh, but you Did also heal had overnight? Heal from. Yes. Okay. I keep getting it confused with how much I heal overnight in Pathfinder versus your 3-5. HP, your your hit die, your level. Okay, that's what I. Think. So we're only down three points. Yeah. Thank you. So, would you like to go ask for directions? Uh, maybe after we figure out where it is, where we are. We're we are we're on, on land, right? Wait, are we already on near land? land? Near a town. We have to go to the town. Out at sea. Find out where we are. Look, a town, people, people know things. Sometimes, not always. Mm. 
Maybe. Or I, I, I question or... whether people know things. I mean, we it can could be just another one of those places where forever. people worship a plate of pasta or something else equally dumb. I'd rather that than this boat, honestly. I'm getting tired of this boat. I feel oh, like no, I have that no control. That pretty strange. <laughs> Fine, but if it you turns out to be bloodthirsty you. cannibals, it's not my fault. Then we'll just kill them first, and if we die, then we don't come back here next time, right? Because there will be a next time, right? Yeah, we don't know that. Wait, what if there isn't a next time? That's generally how life works, at least as I understand it. Yes, well, the amount of times I died, I kind of forgot. You only live once, except for in this world. Yeah. Until the rules change. Where you Who keep knows? dying and keep coming back to life in an insane asylum. <laughs> Not me. I keep coming back to life in an undead Armageddon. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Yay! Progress. <laughs> Your boat keeps exploding on you. It's really unpleasant. <laughs> All right. Yes, to the town. So, to the town. Uh, that's what Ray is saying. To the so. town. To the town you go. All right. You anchor your boat. You got one of your uh, life rafts or ferry boats or whatever you call those things. It means I have to have Connell. You go like off to the town, and uh, Jacob. Jacob's going to take care of the boat and take a nap. Hmm. While taking care of the boat. Okay. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, yeah. Glad, glad we're glad he's here. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, actually, I'm gonna be busy inspecting the boat anyway. Look for the first person and ask them. Hey, where are we? But I'm gonna use my my diplomacy. Maybe I'm likable, or just scary enough to get info. Uh, so you go up to the first person. Uh, it looks to be a fisherman that's uh bringing their catch in for the day, and they look a little bit taken aback uh, when you start talking to them. And, uh, they hand you each a fish. Where am I, though? What Wait, what, what? Does he say anything? Hello. Uh, they sort of just hey. nod politely, uh, when they're, when they're handing you fish. Uh, he doesn't say anything. Maybe they don't oh, understand. And then, stuff. uh, mm -hmm. like, they walk on into town and, like, are muttering something to themselves. Just walk away. I'm but it doesn't sound like any back. language you know. Oh. Then, well, Mantis just said we don't know the language, so. Maybe we're in Sandpoint. Yeah. <laughs> no, not Sandpoint. Maybe. Give him ideas. And they'd be like, God damn it, stupid adventurers. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, they're only absolutely right. Uh I don't know. I guess we go see. Do they have oh. do they have a mirror hanging outside the village that like on um, like a what is it? I think they have like a bridge or something, and like on this bridge on the opposite side from where the town is, there'd be a mirror hanging there. It says we wouldn't be able to uh, read it, but it says it does. It does have that. It it it, do, it doesn't have that. Okay, it's not Sandpoint, everyone. Unless they got rid of it. Are you meta gaming, Pro Pluto? Yes. Probably not Sandpoint. <laughs> a little bit. But so what, what joke, happened? Did we teleport sure to a new yes, plane again. or something? Yeah. Well, we did, once, and now yes. we think we're back. We're not sure, right? But we're not sure. So we're not sure where we, we are. Fish. 
We went back through but we have vortex. Right, that's good, that's good so... enough for me. Like, I think we can go back to the boat now. Like, we got fish. Oh. What else What else could we possibly want? Yeah, um... But on the other hand, it's like, we could fi We don't know where we are still, right? Uh, I can roll a knowledge geography and take a guess. I mean, I didn't know where we were before either, so... I have well, no idea yeah, what's going but we on. Not where we were in, <laughs> in Jurassic well, except there are people here, and we can stab water. We learned a lot of things, okay? Yes, yes, you can stab water, and sometimes it does things. Right? That's knowledge. I and knowledge can I have chat, Bruce fly seen. up and look at the surrounding landscape and describe to me what it is? I thought you were watching the boat. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, you're watching. <laughs> yeah. I like I don't this, have any idea what's going on. Jacob okay. suddenly That's like geography? gets all uh like awake and active. And he's like waving at you guys from the boat and trying to shout at you. Uh give me some perceptions to see if you notice Jacob. Can I choose not to notice him? <laughs> You can choose to ignore him. Okay, I choose to ignore him. Do I notice myself? Jane, yes. Do you think yes, therefore you, you are? Yourself. Jane notices, Trasta doesn't. I do have Bruce back, right? You do. Alright, I need to update my notes on my skills to be Bruce. Are you level 7? Uh, no idea. Let's see. Should be. I'm gonna go with negative. Spend some time. Negative later. seven. Raises a weight. Perhaps Jacob will be leveling himself up on the boat. <laughs> uh, I I say to people, oh, it looks like Jacob woke up. Yeah, he's watching the boat. Don't worry about it. I mean, he wasn't really watching before. Were we saying Jacob was knocked unconscious from, like, moving around, or was he actually just sleeping? Or was he's he actually just sleeping? Just sleeping. On. He's on a boat! He's on a motherfucking boat! When, uh... When your guys' characters are... When your guys are absent, your characters have narcolepsy. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Yeah, that's just... That's just what it's been in this entire campaign. Anytime you're not here, your character just sleeps all the time. Yeah. I assume that's what people are like in real life, too. You know, it's like, if I can't see them, they're just asleep. Always. That's what I assume you guys do when I'm not talking to you. Rhea goes and finds more people to talk to. I continue my diplomacy. Okay. I rolled a 23, I don't know Seems if like a small roll. town. Yeah. She tries hard to gather information. At least to get a feel of if this okay. is Earth. I don't care and, what uh, version in time of Earth it is, I just want to know, is this Earth? Uh, a gnome comes up to you <laughs> and uh, starts smiling, like, from ear to ear. And, like, grabs your arm and starts taking you somewhere. Uh, I refuse to go because uh. I don't go anywhere without my allies. She beckons them to come, too, and she releases your arm. Uh, okay. I point at you guys and say, eh? Yeah, you guys want to follow this person who doesn't want to talk? No, 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 she's talking, you just can't understand her. Oh. 
then I can I do hand gestures to make like an earth like a round globy you know I try to do globy things and I keep saying earth to her okay and she takes you uh, to a fruit shop and hands you a very very circular watermelon nice uh, does she have like I think a you got through to good her. stuff does she have like a like a pen or like a knife somewhere I have I, mean, I have knives Jane we have a knife okay I have two knives I, I please grab... don't tell me short like that not the talking knife please I I grab your knife and I start carving earth continents out of the watermelon and I point to it and I say earth <laughs> And uh Can't someone cast comprehend language? What that's pretty oh, hard to This is to, true. Oh my god, you to try and knife uh Earth continents. Rhea walks Do you even know out what they look like? The store and looks for a place where she doesn't see anybody. And uh as you walk out of the store, uh you see uh, like, this one other person in the town square, like, obviously casting spells. They're doing, like, minor bard trick spell cantrips. And they're entertaining a bunch of kids. Then I okay, cast so tongues on place. myself, and I walk back in, and I point back to the watermelon, Earth! <laughs> Why are you so funny about the watermelon? No. It's a watermelon. I don't know what this earth thing is, but you look hungry, and you were making round gestures. It's nice that I can understand you now. Oh, yeah. So, so this planet we're on is not Earth? Uh, I don't know what this earth place is or what these planets you are talking about. What what planet are you on? What planet is this? I don't know. You don't know where you are? Oh, I know where I am. I don't know what planets are. Rhea walks out of the place. Let's find somebody smarter. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna keep it you. This has the name of the town. <laughs> I don't even understand anyone, so I'll just follow you. <laughs> oh no. Um, well, I guess now that I have tongues on, um, I'm going to also cast Comprehend Languages, and I'm going to read, like, the shop signs and see what what's... Tongues what's allows there. you to do everything that oh, Comprehend does it? Languages oh, okay. allows you to do in this game, yeah. Yeah, but it lasts... Less time, doesn't it? That's ten minutes per level, so we got s an hour. It's a higher yeah, level spell. Yeah, it's that's alright then. Caster level. Okay, that's yeah, we're good then. Yeah, so, what kind of shop signs do I see around? Uh, so you see a fruit shop, a fish shop, um, and you see. Uh, Sally's magical knickknacks and other ways, other toys. That's, uh, you think Sally might be the one, uh, using the cantrips to do a magic show for the kids uh, mm -hmm. at Town Square because she's right in front of that shop. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it looks like there's maybe a communal uh, baking oven in the middle of the town square. And it smells uh, like bread is being baking and it's uh, maybe just about right to take out. Hmm. Sounds delicious. Well, You also have a watermelon that is partially carved up and like... Uh, oh, I didn't pay for it. Whoops. You did not. Alright, well, um... Wait. 
I point to the lady casting spells, and, and I say, uh, she owns a magic shop she's in front of. Maybe she's smarter. I turn around, I walk back into the other, uh, the place, and whatever currency, like, we currently have, because we've been traveling a lot, I, like, just put a bunch of it down. Like, a gold piece worth of, of whatever our currency is. It probably means Oh no, you're going to, to ruin the person. local economy. Oh no. The economy's been ruined! What are they oh, gonna no. do with, like, United States one dollar bill from the... <laughs> it's still gold. Wait, how do we, gold is gold. How do we get U.S. <laughs> currency? I don't know! I, I'm... Ah, uh, stupid elves! <laughs> I guess we don't have U.S. currency. There Where is no we United been? States in this world. <laughs> I know. So wait, we know what really planet confusing. we're on if they recognize our currency. Right. Not that not I'm ours. there, but... Like, this currency might not be valuable to these people at all, but I do it anyways, and I take the watermelon. Okay, you take the watermelon. Are you going to eat any of it? Now that you've opened it up. It's poisoned. No. Oh, okay. So you just have this watermelon that you've, like, carved out the continents of Earth yeah. onto. Yeah. Basically. It's Does very anybody else want carving. to eat Earth continent pieces of watermelon? Yeah, I mean, I'll they stab you if you try right? to take my planet. This is mine. That's my knife! Okay, you can have the knife back. <laughs> I'll punch you. Okay. <laughs> now, that she's, now, now that she's been disarmed. <laughs> <laughs> We've been stuck eating magic food for how long now? Like Fine, three days? take the watermelon. I don't want it anyway. No, no, my... I mean, yeah, that's been, that's been that long. Months? <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long time. Oh, come time. on. Don't tell me you all can resist. I'm gonna stick my finger in and, like, try and pull uh, out a piece. Geez. She just shoves the watermelon to you. Okay. I'm gonna eat it. That's fine. Um, well, I don't think we're uh, on Earth, at least. So, should we get back on the boat and stab we might be maybe it's just a foreign culture well i asked that lady if she yeah, maybe if they we're on something else planet earth or if we're on a planet she yeah, said she, she didn't doesn't know, know right? anything about planets like she don't even know planets exist. yeah maybe they're just maybe they're just a primitive culture but the this lady's casting spells over here are you saying that primitive peoples can't have magic if they had magic they'd Magic intelligence. Sorcerers! They're charisma! Why? <laughs> but if they don't have the answer to something, they use magic and then they have the answer. Yeah, but, you know, some tourist comes in and is like, what planet are we on? I'm like, why do I want to spend my time dealing with this person? I've got actual things to do. Like, entertain children with magic. She shoved a watermelon at me. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have anything to do. She thought you were hungry. I mean, she's out yeah. feeding the hungry. Like, she's a good person. <laughs> Fine. We're on Earth. <laughs> Rhea crosses her arms, upset. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we just don't know if we're on Earth yet. That person just might not know anything other than Food. <laughs> Other than food. Lead the way. I recommend that lady, though. <laughs> Which lady? Oh, she's just telling her party, her allies. Yeah, yeah. Which lady are you recommending, though? Oh, the magic lady. Oh, the magic lady, okay. You wanna go talk to her? I don't know. Ray's got her arms crossed right now. <laughs> She's closed <Okay>. off. <laughs> She's closed well, off. Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I know, yes. Tongues is creature touched. Uh yes. Well, I can put I tongues think, on you. Uh, 
Is that something you're doing? I'll do it. Now the real question is who has to be our diplomat? Her, mostly. Well, you get you get to tongue someone else. So who are you tonguesing? I don't know. Who wants That's it? working. Uh, I have bluff as far as social skills go. I'm good at it. I'm not sure I'm we need to lie. I'm pretty decent at bluff people. too. I don't know what your bluff is, but... but we can certainly lie if you want. We're aliens from outer space. What planet are we on? I have sense motive. I mean, also. that could be true. It could be. Well, Who knows? Not from outer space. Well, maybe. If we're on a different planet, I suppose. In the same planes as Earth. Then maybe. Uh, Alright, let's, uh... Let, Alright. Clearly there's only one answer to this question. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob gets tongues. All right, let's let's go. Problem I'm not even solved. there. <laughs> no, we are now. You are, the boat. You are now. Clearly, <laughs> you're here. No, Ray is touched. like real angry at this, and she like goes Tom's back off and, and like grab. Like she gets the boat, she grabs Jacob and brings him back and casts tongues, and it's like you talk to these dumb. You folks. go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just shrug. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I only have 11 total sense motive. <laughs> oh, I'm not good at sense motive. Oh, well, I got a 14, I guess. I'm okay at it. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not the person to do this. Ah, uh, but that's what Ray chose. <laughs> you know what? I choose you all. I cast two more... Castings of tongues. I'm now out of my level two spell. Oh, so now someone's left oh, out. Oh, perfect. We have to figure out who's left out. Jacob's looked out. <laughs> He's still on the boat leveling. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Rip Jacob. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, you none of you guys get to later. feel like heroes today. You're welcome. I. Darn. This is like normal. I already speak a bunch of languages. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but except now I feel weird about it. Eh, well, let's what, let's. What magic know. is bullshit? That is magic true. Magic is bullshit. <laughs> I want a bumper sticker that says that. Bet that wouldn't be too hard to uh, get ordered online. No, like in game, like put it on your like traveling cart of horses. Our boat. Or our boat, yeah. Magic is bullshit. Shoot, Zahid's gonna be on the lookout for bumper stickers now. <laughs> all right, we we all approach the the lady. Thank you for giving our friend a watermelon. Not that lady. No, different lady. Different lady. You could go back and and thank oh, the the other lady. Ah, she just received some rare currency. Maybe never a bad it. idea to never a bad idea to show gratitude. <laughs> uh, so you go, you go back to the watermelon lady. No, well he might, but no. We go I'm to asking the heat. Forming lady. Okay. Well, I'll stick with the. I'll. I won't split the party, but I intend to thank the watermelon lady later. Okay. <laughs> You go to the performing lady. Okay. She just seems to be finishing a uh, performance for uh, the kiddos, and she's like, okay, that's all for today. You guys got to go home and uh, do your chores and shit. <laughs> and shit. Up. Hey, man, maybe that's just normal words. For what if they don't have swear words in this society? Oh, that's a I good mean, question. Yeah. I wasn't prepared for She's that. She's telling them to go poop. 
That was the best answer. <laughs> All right, all right, okay. Uh, well, yeah. I, I wait for her to excuse all these kids. She excuses the kids. Wait, what the hell just happened to me? She Next. says, "May I help you?" You got a sudden hum on your mic. Yeah, somebody's humming. Hum. Hum. Ah, uh, so Ray responds and says, uh, eh, yes, I see you, uh, entertaining those kids with, uh, Yep, I do it every day. Uh, do others cast magic, or just you? Around these parts? Uh... There's one-eyed longbeard off in the woods somewhere. Huh. But other than that, it's just me. He's a weird, recluse wizard. Wizard. Rhea, like, slowly turns to yeah. look at her uh, allies with her eyes wide. She's like, wizard. <laughs> Okay, what does that mean, Rhea? Why are you that so just means they need the minimum end score of 9. I've played 2nd edition. <laughs> no, that makes them a mage, not a wizard, and you know it. Did oh, you not right. read fairy tales when you were younger? Jeez. She looks back at the lady. No, the... I mean, it seems like an important thing, I just don't know what it actually means. Does it have some sort of specific thing to it? Freya looks back over at you and speaks in our common tongue and says, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. The hell's a Kansas? I'm afraid I don't understand the hell's a Dorothy. English proverb. <laughs> What the hell are uh, those this terms? is British. <laughs> she called me British. Okay, <laughs> let's not argue. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, she looks back over at the lady, uh, speaking in the tongues, and says, "Um, uh, where are we? Is there is there a a, a bigger bigger city?" Um, uh, it's, uh, that way, I think. She points what looks to be north. Mm, that's not the direction we were going. What direction were we going? South and east, and then we were going to go north and east. So, unless we ended up on the other side of Africa. Did which, you even I don't pull know, your compass might... out when we, like... Arrived. Presumably. Yeah. And it was actually. That, that doesn't tell me what the landmarks mean, though. I'm Weird. still waiting for night to Every use stars and stuff. I rolled earlier would it, it would have been a lot higher, actually, if I, with shared consciousness. So we're definitely on a planet that has a polar pulse. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> I don't know why a compass works, it just does. Just does. Magnets! Uh, That's the real magic. It's not even a class skill. Uh, what a goofy character this is. That's uh, kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Maybe we should go f find a wizard. Do you think this wizard is mean, more uh, powerful okay. than you? Rude. But... <laughs> we don't even know how powerful this wizard oh, is. To the cantrip lady <laughs> with the magic shot. Oh, okay. I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen him since I was five. Oh. Uh... It's a long time. Does she look human? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, I know yeah. dwarves like age differently. I don't know. 
this person's human or not. Mm. But they look human enough. It's like, okay, gives me a relative idea of how long since I was five was. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I don't... Like, they're an elf, and God knows how old the, like, five was, might not even be alive anymore. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, Rhea so... turns to you guys and she's like, I think we're just stuck in this world. Better get comfortable. Oh, I'm oh, still oh. pretty I sure this is our world. For... I, I've got a question, quick question for her. So, we just got off a but we had some sort of mishap and lost our way a little bit. What is the name of this place? Oaken Watch. I have no idea where Oaken Watch is, guys. We got really lost. <laughs> is it on any of my maps? No. You start sifting through your maps. <laughs> Uh, ask her, hey, can you point to Oak and Watch anywhere on these maps? <laughs> uh, she looks at the maps, and she, like... She's like, uh, I can't read those. Well, does it look similar at all? No. Okay, well... It's not great news, but we learned something. Thank you. I feel like I'm learning a lot of stuff that's not great, but we learned something lately. Hopefully this doesn't become a theme. <laughs> I feel like that actually has a theme. Oh. Is there anything else I can help you with? Would you like to buy some magic uh, items? Uh, what kind of uh, items do you which... have? Well, hold on, we don't even know if we have the same currency. We're still kind of broke. Yes, but I'm curious to see what kind of magical items she has. Well, that's and fair. She elbows get... you. <laughs> <laughs> Magic and science are two different things! <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge, we're learning! Fine. You're right. We should also learn to- we should also see if we can find out if we, what kind of currency they use. Uh, yeah. That lady didn't seem to mind that I ran off with a watermelon Hopefully it's not. I gave her a gold piece worth of currency. Maybe you can go ask her. I don't know. <laughs> so, this is the most popular item in town. And you said you mentioned you came in on a boat? Maybe yeah. it would be useful to you. And she says, this is a net that will repair itself after it's been damaged by mundane or fishy or sharky things. Mm. Okay. Dolphins, on the other hand, you'll have to do those repairs yourselves. Yeah, we don't we don't need nets. <laughs> what else do you got? Well, duh, those are mammals. <laughs> then come on down. You're the next contestant on. Oh God, where are we? Oh God, where are we? I just realized <coughs> everyone's I to favorite game feet, show, but that's fine. I'll figure it out later. Um, Jacob uh, like stumbles in and is brought in by like the big smiling gnome lady. Mm. Oh, thank you earlier for the fruit. Oh, you're welcome, dearie. It looked like you guys uh, were from out of town. And you looked hungry. Uh, That's uh, about right, yeah. <laughs> out of town's a good way to put it. I'm glad that I can speak to you now, though. Well, we have a talented person who can make us do that. 
Unfortunately, it's oh, not me. Nice. Or maybe fortunately, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna crumble to myself. Mm. <laughs> well, it's okay if you're a little bit confused. Feel free to make yourself at home here in Okinawa. Okay, we accidentally ended up in Faerun, that's just what I'm gonna assume. Yeah, maybe, or, or Varicia <laughs> or something. Or an I'm a, Oh, I have an idea. I'm gonna look for some nautical charts. I'm gonna walk around the whatever mooring area there is. Presumably, there's someone who will have some nautical charts I can look at. Ooh, presumably. <laughs> That's a normal word. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, not in the magic shop. I know. I'm done that. I I just got a uh, fancy new sword, so I'm gonna focus on uh, getting us where we're actually trying to go. Okay. And uh, you know, walk off because nothing bad ever happens when that happens. You walk off. Yeah, what? Well, nothing ever bad happens when that happens. Uh, Very fine. I'll come back to you in a bit. Oh, sorry, guys. We're going back to some magical items. Uh, so not interested in nets. Not nets, uh, no. She Don't need to fish. Pull... She uh, mentions, like, she says, do any of you have kids? Don't no. think so. So you wouldn't be interested in uh, this uh, talking doll or this self-winding jack-in-the-box. Talking doll definitely seems like a safe bet. Nothing evil could happen from that. Get it. She's waiting for your answer. Uh, no. Probably not. Okay, then. Uh... No, no evil doll, please. I have some uh, some other minor things that adventurers uh, sold me. Uh, that I haven't been able. You know, to now that we're this lost, aren't we basically just adventurers? I know we were trying basically. to go to one place. Like, we were planning on basically on being merchants, but uh, now that we're lost, I'm pretty sure we're just adventurers. <laughs> Maybe they want olive oil. Maybe they do. Well, sell your later. oil. Go for it. <laughs> no, I've, I've, my first priority is shipping charts, or many in a sort of nautical chart. Then we then I'll then I'll work on being a olive oil salesman. A D fifty? That's interesting. Probably a 100, normally a D100, but every, everything has two, you know what I mean? So well, yeah, but it's still same. not one that you frequently see. So, I, uh, I got this wand of ventriloquism with uh, 44 charges on it. What does ventriloquism do? Isn't that the thing where you don't move your mouth and you talk? I think you don't know anything about magic. Shh. No! Ventriloquism is a mundane it's skill. A... Yeah, that's something that people can just do. Can they? Oh, I can't do that. 
Well, out I of character, I was able to do it like brief. I there was a brief stint in like eighth grade and ninth grade where I actually could throw my voice a little bit, but I'm so out of practice, I don't think I could still do it. That would be a pretty uh, cool skill as a game master to have. Yeah, I'm no good at imitations though. I can mimic people's voices and do it. Oh boy, it's over. Oh yeah. Imagine doing that in uh, English class while you're, uh, you know, <laughs> reading the books. Oh, aloud. that's great. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to practice again because now I'm gonna definitely do that to my students. Well, I don't know if I want to spend money on some. I'm not sure we're gonna use so. Probably not. That's a very handy item, though, that you have there. And uh, this other one is a silent image. Uh, 40 charges. And again, Rhea asks what that is, because she doesn't know the magic. And she tells you what it does. Ah, uh, very interesting. Not something I would use, though. And, uh... The, the biggest thing I have here is, uh... This potion of... Lesser restoration. What in the world does that do? If you, uh. If you get bitten by one of them giant forest spiders, and it saps your strength, oh, shit. you can take this and it'll make you feel a little bit better. Buying it! I told Rhea, we don't need that. Yeah, we do. I, I can do that on my own. How much is it? What if you get bit? Ray pulls out her currency. Stop it, Sahid. How much you, is this? You don't, you're not even here. You're I right. am there. No, no, Sahid's the not there. Oh, okay. It's bunches of gold pieces. How many uh, gold pieces do you She shows have? the currency that she has. She's like, will any of this do? Oh, oh, you're about to get hosed. What? What, Mantis? Rhea, how many gold pieces do you have? Well, I'm not offering all that I have. I'm asking her if this type of currency will work and how much it is. Uh, she takes one of the gold pieces and she bites on it a little bit. And she's Gross. like, yeah, this will work. I don't know where it's from. Hmm? How much? Gold is gold. Yeah, yeah. Price? I haven't heard of price. I mean, I I tell Rhea that's a simple tri a simple remedy. I you don't need to spend your money on that. I can do that. Uh but if you want to, go ahead. It just sounds expensive. I mean, it's a safety measure, and we're in unknown territory. She's like, oh, I don't, I don't have enough. I'll be right back. Out of character, no one actually has ability drain or anything right now, right? Or ability damage? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Okay. I was just checking, because, like, I, I literally can just cast Restoration. Rhea's just excited like not lesser, that I can that cast she restoration. can buy an item, a magical item from a magic shop that's actually magical. Um, and this is like the only thing that seems mildly usable to her. But yeah, it's too I much money. So give she's everyone like, oh. a look that's like, we need to talk about this. Like clearly we are not in a place we know of. Like, because where we know magic is kind of, you know not present invisible visible. 
Yeah, that's true. Okay, back to the heat. Ah, yes. The quest for charts. Uh, so you're asking around, and you find yourself in a pawn shop that sells just about everything. Ah, good. I ask him if he has any up-to-date nautical lots charts. lots and lots of what look to be uh, used but repaired nets. No, well, plenty of nets, obviously a bunch of fishermen here. I ask about uh, their nautical charts and what they have in terms of the most up-to-date ones. says, got one from some adventurers in here, back when I was in my prime, 25 years ago. Sir, I must, I must say, if you are past your prime, then truly you must have been a quite the formidable man then. I look over the chart and continue to lay some flattery on for the humble art of negotiation. You're one of those folks that we don't see as often these days coming from outsiders that actually respects their elders. Well, you, sir, you have so many years of wisdom, it would be a shame to lose access to that by disrespecting you. He takes a big swig on the flask. Okay, so you're uh, looking over the chart, and you can understand it. But do I recognize anything? It does not anything? look like any of your charts. Gasp! I must let the others know that we're not on our home planet! I'm sure they've already... I ask him how much for the chart. Oh, uh, mostly it's just gathering dust. Uh, 14 gold pieces. 14 gold pieces. Hmm. Well, that's steep, but I will, I will, I will pay it. You know what, I'll, I'm going to give you a discount, because I like you, Sonny. Oh, that is most kind of you. You can have it for 11. All right, sounds good to me. I thank him. Uh, I say if I am ever in need of something, I'll come your way again. And uh, I'm going to take the chart to go show everybody. Okay. And I'm going to put down four in nautical chart from and uh, on my on my inventory. You got it, my friends. I have dire news. This is not our world after all. See, I show them the nautical chart. I told you so. Yes, 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 yes. Very, very, very smart. <laughs> but what does that mean? Well, presumably we need to go through another whirlpool if we wanted to get back to where we were going. Alright, so let's time out real quick just because I missed it so we went through one whirlpool to end up somewhere did we figure out where that was it was like a transitional plane kind of like a okay and then we world. went through another whirlpool and we ended up here correct correct okay just just double checking that I understand so I mean J Jacob's like oh well yeah of course you're not on our own like world or at least our, our own city. This is completely foreign land with different money, and, and I had Bruce fly up, and he didn't even recognize any of the land around here, but it is good to confirm that the whole planet is different, assuming I know what a planet is. But the, the land is completely different. Perhaps well, this is I something can I can consult with the spirits about, and they might have an answer. Magic was bullshit. That happened. 
Yeah, it's all Magic isn't bullshit. Then what is it? I don't know. Maybe this place is better than <laughs> where we were. Like maybe See, there's, there's no, no answer here. except magic is bullshit. No, maybe magic is better. Our other planet didn't have magic. Maybe that was worse. Maybe this is better. I want to go back. I want to figure out how to go back. Yeah. Are you sure you want to go back? I don't. I have nothing back back home. If they find us, they're just going to put us back in the asylum. Plus, we couldn't even use our powers in the open, and here we can. I think. Like, this place is there awesome. I, I will, don't want to go back. Uh, there's a chance for something there, but there's definitely nothing for me here. By the way, uh, Pluto's uh, game sense was fairly correct. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the nautical chart that you did get was one of the Verissian Bay. And Verissia... Spot on, huh? The... Yep. Not that our... Uh, Not that our characters, our characters that anyway. understand that. Yeah. So, I'm going to have updated to Verissian nautical chart. Do we know what the whirlpools, where they came from, or why, why we went through them? Nope. Like basically, we just did. Did we choose to go through the first one to leave our world, no. or did it just happen upon us? Nope. Okay. No, no, we went into an accident. We got okay. So yeah, I think we definitely want to try and figure out why this happened to us. You might also want to update Jacob on uh, what happened in the town where they were worshipping spaghetti. Oh, jeez. I heard killed, about the spaghetti it. plate Wait, that you fought. No, I wasn't. I heard was brief bits about it. Oh. Uh, that was probably yeah, the one where we, I was back home in St. Louis. We killed some spaghetti. Yeah, I, I heard about that, we though, stole, I, that part. We we sold our olive oil, but then we stole like more olive oil. Back. More olive. Yeah, I heard up, about that too. We ended up with olive Speaking oil. Speaking of, still. Uh, is there anything I, like I get, that has to do with the big picture story, though? Well, we ended that, up going through a whirlpool to another place, so that was the end of that session. Yeah, we were on the way so. around Africa, and we were heading into India, and then we got sucked away. Okay. So, you got some, like, like, like Jacob said, and maybe something that the players would understand, but not necessarily your characters. They were so out, out of in, they. This town worshipped the flying spaghetti monster, and his avatar was the plate of pasta. Right, and we killed the plate of pasta, which weakened. The flying spaghetti monster god. And the flying spaghetti monster is uh, set to arrive in like six months from now. Arrive where? On uh, Earth. On Earth, yeah. Oh. We bring uh, free pasta. I don't think to we know. Everyone and joy to all of the peoples around the lands. I don't think we that know. That sounds like you guys were on some crazy shrooms, but <laughs> I don't think we in character hey, know hey, the significance hey. of the game that we were given. I wouldn't mind but being on for the arrival. Shrooms. I believe you do not know in character. So, as Jacob was saying, he could, you know, confer with the spirits around the significance of these whirlpools and why we're here. 
what caused them, aka cast divination. Is that something we, you know, think will help? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Didn't hurt, right? I just don't know what we'd ask. Like, why are we here? Or what are we supposed well, to that's do? Well, that's, that's a real. That's a real. How do we get back? Question. Why are we here? <laughs> just to suffer. That's why. Maybe you. That's why I played enough Metal Gear Solid to know. <laughs> you're here just to suffer. You can tell because of the undead apocalypse over and over again. And my ship gets blown up. So, like, like well, Jacob says, though, he likes it here. He doesn't really want to go back. I don't. I don't have a reason to leave. I don't have a reason to stay. So, like, I don't. Know. I don't want to be here. Everyone here. I mean, I want to figure out why we then kept coming back to life when we died. To... See, in theory, I'm good aligned. So, like, I kind of want to, you know, save people from the undead. But on the other hand, I'm absolutely terrified of it. Are you talking about going back to Egypt to save the people there? Yeah. I mean, that's a very long-term goal that I definitely cannot accomplish right now. That's something that's a noble cause. I would potentially be willing to help if it was... It sounds fun. So, I'd probably be willing to help you with that. I'll help as much as I can, but... Unless we find a way to get back home, I honestly don't care. This place seems cool. Yeah. Maybe we'll I think we should check this place out more. Well, sure, but we need to learn some stuff. Let's let's split up and look for clues until Tony split the party. <laughs> well, then I'm gonna go back to my pawn shop friend and uh, you know ask him. If, you know, there's been any sort of unusual ships or travel coming in lately, because he's the only friend I have here. Aww. Seemed reasonable. What does I mean, per us? Perhaps what we should do is we should... Okay, if if magic is so place. prevalent here... Oh, okay. I was ready for, a, for like, a sarcastic quip, but it didn't come. Oh. Nah. Nah, I like Guys, me. If if magic is so prevalent here, why don't we go and ask about these whirlpools we experience and maybe they can explain it. And better uh, yet, we they could maybe even explain that, maybe. The, the time we loop stuff. We talking about going to talk to that wizard, maybe. Yeah, yeah, there's some like yeah let's do that. Because also we can ask about the time loop well, thing, too. Well, we might okay, get two birds, fine, one stone. First, I think it's important to eat food that isn't create food. Hey, are you saying you don't like my food? Stomach. That's exactly what Jane is saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, you're correct. Exactly correct. 100% correct, because it is not good right. food. But it keeps you alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as long as we're all on the same page. I'm, I'm just a dumb, you know, young adult. I don't know how to cook. Well, also, I'm pretty sure, like, explicitly, food from great food and water is just, like, oh, yeah, yeah. good tasting. But J Jacob yeah, thinks no, it doesn't taste good because he doesn't know how to cook. Oh, okay. He thinks if he knew how to cook, it would taste good. I can, ta I can teach you how to cook. I'm plus nine. Right, just just remember that everything Jacob knows about, like, the spirit magic and all that is all, like, self-taught. So he may have some well, misconceptions. Okay. Well, that's fine. You know a lot more than me. <laughs> if, if, I th if you can get me on board with the it'll taste better when I'm better at cooking, then I'm all in. All in. I don't know. I, I guess so. I never really learned how to cook. I just survived on the streets so, on my own. If you combine crepe food and water with or crepe food with prestigitation or whatever, you can you can make it have flavor that's like not terrible. The other thing is there's like a crate really? feast thing uh -oh. for a fourth level spell. Or you just carry that I think it will probably taste better. Everywhere you go. But or like survival checking. Anyways, we have real food here. Terrible. We don't need to rely on my cooking anymore. I got I'm tired of it anyways. What? That's fine. What if their food sucks, though? Well, that's Try it. Have all it. The water, it can't be. It can't be much worse than what I made. Just what if? Yeah, what if, well, what hey, if, look. You know? like, what if? Okay, look. I tasted the watermelon. Did the water melon taste fine? <laughs> Did it? Oh. Well. The watermelon tasted excellent. See. Well, there you go. I mean, there's like almost no watermelon left. Yourself. 
Yeah, I was like, "There's, it's almost gone. I've been eating it on my own the whole, just, just the entire time. So yeah, let's let's find some food around here, and then let's try and find this wizard and ask him more uh, about. I'd like to ask the the bard lady where what's a good place to eat around here. Uh, you saw that gnome that brought in your friend. That's the lady. Yeah. Let's go over to her place. She runs a. Uh, tavern and has a couple rooms that she rents out. Oh, okay. Sounds great. An Thank you. For when adventurers come to town from time to time. Thanks for the information. I'll uh, head over and get some real food. All right, so we go get foods. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And when it comes time to paying, I mean, I assume the food's pretty good. When it comes time to paying, how much, if we, like, show them the coins we have, how much yeah, do they she want? She says, you've already paid for this. That watermelon wasn't worth uh, what you gave me. That was good. That's very kind of her. Oh, okay. Thank you. I begin to wonder if I got hosed on nautical shirts. That's very <laughs> kind of me, and you're welcome. Yeah, I was like... Yeah, right. <laughs> that would be giving Rhea credit. Thanks, Rhea. <laughs> you're just our little Rhea sunshine. How much are not? Ooh. Well, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Don't ever call me that. See, I, by not acknowledging her, am in a safer position than you who tried to compliment her. <laughs> True. <laughs> He's like that troll under the bridge. If you ignore him, they get bored and do something else. Don't feed the troll. The teenager. Don't feed the teenager. <laughs> Yeah, that that sounds like a good rule with teenagers. Hmm. So it's, it's probably too late at this point to go visit the wizard, so maybe we should find somewhere to stay tonight. Unless, do we have a boat we can stay on, or did it get destroyed in the whirlpool? I was on the boat, right? So we have it? So we can either sleep on the boat or find a place to stay tonight and then see the wizard tomorrow morning. Stay, let, let's stay there tonight. It's got to be better than being on the boat like we've been for the last several months. I, I just want somewhere where we can talk in private about what all we think is going on. The boat's probably the you best bet, then. got another one of them... Uh, cold pieces. You're welcome to stay in the rooms for the night. Well, there you go, rooms. Uh, yeah. Let me see if I actually have money on this character. I'm pretty sure I do. A little bit, yeah. Okay, I'll offer up a gold piece. And say, you know, we've been sleeping on a boat for a while. I'd like to sleep on some solid land. Sounds, sounds just about right. So, and she, uh, there we go. She gets you some keys to the rooms. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is about the time where uh, tongues is going to start wearing off. Oh. That's why I was get voting for the boat. But just stay oh, true, yeah. And whatever. That's true. Yeah, but when we've been sleeping on a boat for the last, like, three months or whatever, however long it's been. I'm done with boats. Three weeks. 
I'm, I want to sleep on solid yeah. land tonight. I agree. Even though it's not the most private or safe place, probably. I'll have Bruce keep watch since he sleeps a lot of the day in my pocket and he's awake at night. So he'll he'll keep watch, or at least stay alert for us. Let's let's all consider this though. Bruce is the real hero. Anytime we get into combat, That's I have to true. wake him up. And he immediately yeah. is awake and ready to fight. What like, a good guy. That's impressive. Good old Bruce. He always dives headfirst into situations where he gets murdered. Yeah, well... <laughs> it's because he's trying to protect me. Yeah. Big oof. So, yeah, basically uh, Bruce is yeah. now like a reach spell, but without having to increase spell level. Or like delivering cures. So that's kind of cool. Uh, go ahead and uh, give me Bruce's perception. If he's keeping watch over the net. Yep. <clears throat> give me a second, I have to open the sheet. Also, I probably didn't level him up, but whatever. And let me get some uh, sleeping perceptions, too. Is that just your perception minus 10? Yes. Do you want Whoa. us to include the minus? No, I'll factor it in. Good. Big 20, we got Ooh. 10. <laughs> Let me see about leveling up Bruce. I don't remember what I need to do for that. I probably didn't even level him up last level. So. Uh, I'm waiting on one more. I'm waiting on trusses. Where are we at? Are we in the hotel or whatever? We're staying in? Yeah. yeah, in the rooms in town. Uh, okay. That's a whole lot. Okay, all of you start hearing this. Uh, you're hearing screams uh, coming from outside your windows. Knew we should have stayed on the boat. I'm going to have to peek outside, I guess. Wake up, you peek outside. It looks like uh, they're... It's a little bit hard to see, but it looks like some of the buildings are being burned down. And there are small oh. creatures with tails that are killing the villagers. Well, I'm not about that life. Because we still this need these like villagers to figure out how to get home. Yes. I would guess that low light that. vision is fine when things are on fire. That provides light. It does provide light. A uh, quick question on Am familiars. I still Do they gain skill levels? They have your skill ranks. But they're modifiers. Oh, would Jacob heal me before... Night okay. starts or no? Well, I guess you could have healed me previously. Yeah, I, I would have healed you. You can be at full health, assuming Mantis is nice. fine with that. Are you? Uh, you did take 10 damage before 
uh, as did right. uh, Rhea take 10 damage before you went to the town. Uh, so anything else, you would have had to heal, like actually use uh, spell slots to heal for. Yeah, I think the idea is at the end of the day, since we're pretty sure nothing else is happening, I would then use the spell slots. Right, but something's happening in the middle of the night, so take away. Yeah, but I wouldn't have known. Yeah, I say I wouldn't have known ahead of time. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so you need me to actually count it? Okay, give me a second. Yes, I need you to actually count it. Now. I'm missing ten. So you, you each so have wait, ten. Be fine. So that's going to be cast two cure light wounds. Do those rolls go through? So, so yeah. Twelve. Yeah. You're that's both 12. full. And those two okay. first level slots are used. Okay. Along with a create food and water for uh, the uh, Yep, okay. I mean, I have that as one of my prepared spells, but I didn't turn the number cast to one, but yeah, that's used. Okay. Um, okay. Bringing in here. I'm resizing tokens. Don't worry, I have a fourth level. I have two fourth level spells now. Well, three if you count my spontaneous. So things things can get spicy from from Jacob. Okay. Uh, we are pulling you to a different map. Uh, I need to pull the map over so I can actually pull you there. Dude, I, I have one spell I really want to use, but it has to be on someone that's bad. Hey, there might be bad dudes here. We're bad enough dudes to save the village. Cause it's 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 a pretty mean spell. So, uh, I'm uh, be asking for initiatives here. That seems reasonable. Oh, this is so Thank blurry. You, you spent. Oh my god! I need it's to get so my blurry. eyes checked. Oh, no. no, that's just actually representing how it's hey, working in like... the buildings, cause the. The he like replace. So he just drag it from Connell, like the actual character, because that's like not not tied. Connell isn't even actually summoned. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Hey, I got nineteen oh four. I need to refresh roll twenty anyway. Um, I'd rather have an MS Paint map. Nah. Although it's uh, it's representing the low light. Don't zoom in. Don't zoom okay, out. I zoomed all the way out. It's a lot better. <laughs> I just can't see. It's representing the low light. No way, I have one contribution I'm going to make to this to this in com this combat. Connell? No, Connell is not summoned, so he's not going to he's not going to contribute this time. Don't worry, I'm uh -oh. fine. Connell's like fine. the hero of our combats though, a lot of times. Yeah, and he's not here. So, cuz we're in a town. I mean, 
I probably could I got have it, had guys. Don't in worry. this particular town, and it probably would have been okay, but I'm still... Yeah, no, definitely not something you would just have Connell manifested overnight. <laughs> I mean, I do on the boat, but not out here, not in the town. Not with people, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, another reason why sleeping on the boat would have been great. Although, if I'm, like, worried about... True, uh, but... Worried about something happening in the middle of the night, I'll do it for like our own private. I say there's no reason for us to be suspicious of something happening. So I'll, we just wake up and we hear a bunch of yelling, and that's all we know so far. Yeah, and this is fucking. Well, that and there's the light probably. of buildings on fire, I believe, was part of I the mean, description. It, it probably has nothing to do with us. Like, we should just mind our own business. You're probably right. It's probably just a thing that's happening here. Gosh darn it. I'll go be good aligned. I'm jumping out the window. <laughs> Well, I think we probably need to kill these yeah, things one going because down the stairs. Yeah, there's for, no, first off, I'll sense. give you a couple logical reasons why we should do something about these things. One, uh, one, our boat is here. Two, these people can actually direct us to the wizard. And uh, three, they have. They more gave food. us a good deal on watermelon. They gave us a really good watermelon. But, no, I'm, I'm down to help. It sounds like fun. Like, J Jacob's not necessarily doing it for the right reasons, but it sounds exciting and fun, so he's down. Also known as, you know, being neutral. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this group of lizardy things with lots of spears goes, runs over, and uh, seems like they're off murdering Sally. <gasps> ah, crap. Uh, well, okay. I know what I'm doing. Oh, no. The heat. Uh, well, as a swashbuckler, uh, my first question is going to be, do I think I could grapple, grappling hook rescue... Pull her out of there. Uh, can give it a shot, but she's looking pretty cut up and stabbed. Well, the only way that's happening is if I get her out of this there this round. So we're going for the full swashbuckling effect. Wait, Rappling the GM's just killing Sally. What the hell? Rip. Not if I can help it. I'm I mean, that's almost so as bad as. Yellows. The freaking whiz pop insta death. Oh, so, uh, what am I rolling here since uh, use rope isn't a skill? Would... Uh, roll me a range. Would acrobatics attack. be appropriate? Range touch attack. To hit it. Yeah, but also this like you're then you'll need something to hit probably to high AC and you do not. Because oh, Sally's all the way over here. I was aiming for the building. I was going to swing through myself Errol Flynn style. 